hi guys <laughs> i don't know what that was anyway <laughs> welcome back to my channel um thank you for clicking on this video my name is Ruge if you're new and if you're not new then thank you <laughs> anyway so today's video is gonna be a video that i've been kind of putting off for a few months now i turned 21 in february and it is now april and since my 21st birthday i've been meaning to make a 21 things i've learned in 21 years video but i haven't come around to actually doing it until this very moment there's probably a lot of room to expand on every point so i'm just gonna try to get through them as quickly as possible just so this video isn't half an hour long you know all right let's get started i kind of just have a list on my laptop it's in no particular order of importance i'm just gonna kind of say what i thought when i was brainstorming it so first of all if you want to be happy with how you're living your life and how your life is you have to put in the effort to make it that way you know you've got to curate your life to how you want it to be so that means adding things in that you have always wanted to add into your life whether that's an activity whether that's like a specific color you want to see more of like it's just anything anything you want to add to your life and you see other people doing you can add that to your own life you know there's always a way you just need to find it and do it you know and then as well as that you also need to find things to remove or get rid of anything in your life that's not bringing you closer to the person that you want to become get rid of it so it's pretty simple and then slowly you won't even notice this happen because this is what happened happened to me because you add and remove things so gradually that eventually you just wake up one day and you're like wow i'm actually really happy where i am right now and that feeling is just indescribable um, the I first person that you should go for advice is yourself i feel that we all have this like intuition within us that kind of knows exactly what to do even in hard situations you're the only person who knows exactly what you're going through and although asking other people for advice is helpful sometimes and you should do it make sure that the decision you make it is 100 percent your own and not being influenced by others this is also something that can be worked on i've noticed that the more that i've trusted my gut feelings and myself and that like intuition the better i have become at knowing what it is that i truly want along the same lines listen to your body when it comes to things like diet and exercise be aware of the signals um, when you introduce something new to your body if it works for you then keep doing it but if you notice that you're not feeling that great then maybe you should look into switching things up um, i just feel like we're all built so differently all of our systems are so different from each other so i've just never understood why people have this impression that there's one diet plan like for example veganism or ketogenic diet like those are great for some people but they're not going to work for everyone and you need to be aware of that when you're choosing to live a healthy lifestyle um number four there is no reason to compare yourself to others um, i do this a lot everyone does this a lot but when you see someone that's the same age as you that has achieved seemingly a higher level of success than you um, just keep in mind that they're on their own timeline they've had their own influences and opportunities and you're on a completely different one and that even if you're not where they are at this time it doesn't mean that you're never gonna get there just accept that what you're doing is great and as long as you're trying your best that you will get to where you want to be number five everything irons itself out eventually no matter what you're worried about it is going to be fine doesn't matter what it is absolutely fine you will learn how to deal with it you will adapt it'll be okay so this is something that's really helpful but do not waste time thinking about things that you cannot control for example i've been recently looking for a job for the summer and i put out all these applications don't hear anything back it's a really frustrating and really hard not to get down about it but there's absolutely nothing i can do like i'm doing the best i can and in those moments i just have to distract myself and think about something else you know and the more that you do that the easier it becomes and then you're no longer thinking along those lines and it's fine it's very important to constantly be learning things this helps you change your perspectives and prevents you from staying stuck in one place in your life 
I, I honestly think that the most important thing in life or what success should actually be defined as is peace of mind and there's a multiple ways to get to peace of mind you just have to figure out what works best for you because everyone's different but just make if your mental health is good then everything else is great so self-discipline is probably the most important trait that you can improve on for yourself or work on it actually gets really easy to resist temptations if you do it enough like i've said in multiple other points in this video just if you just do keep doing it you will get to a point where it doesn't become an effort anymore and being good at self-discipline is going to help you in things like your finances it's going to help you with health just overall everything if you can't control yourself you're never going to be able to live the life that you want starting something is definitely the most difficult part you must take responsibility for your own life um, there is no use or no benefit to seeing yourself as a victim of your circumstances everyone has bad things that happen to them and i agree that some people have it harder than the others but you must just take all those experiences and work with them to get to where you want because just sitting there and feeling sorry for yourself is not going to help you and it's not going to help anyone else it's really easy to blame your circumstances on external things but if you instead look within yourself and find things to improve on yourself i promise you that your life situation will get inherent like just it will be better it is 100 percent okay to have days where you're not productive at all um it's just a rest day it's fine we all need them being courageous and confronting issues in relationships through communication as soon as they arise is going to save you a lot of anxiety and negativity basically i think that it's very important to compliment other people if you like something make sure those compliments aren't fake like don't compliment them just to compliment them compliment them when you genuinely find that compliment to be true because it really brightens people's day and people remember how you made them feel not necessarily how you what you exactly you said so number 15 be genuine it's very self-explanatory i can assure you that a lot of people do pick up on someone who is seeming to play a part with their personality like i can tell when someone's not being who they are and that really turns me off towards them and just makes me want to be as far away as possible so maximize happy moments like all of our lives are built up of positive and negative experiences our tendency is to focus a lot on the negativity but if you counter that by also just acknowledging when good things happen and truly just feeling the feelings that are flowing through you at that moment you will eventually start to see your life in a more optimistic manner so i made a whole video about this point but learn how to embrace discomfort discomfort's actually so good for you and it helps you grow and it helps you change as a person so instead of looking at it as looking at it as awful just be grateful that you are experiencing it you know that's it's hard to get there but you can get there eventually okay so you must form your own view of reality if you believe something or hold some values really criticize them and try to figure out if you truly align with those values or if you believe it just because if you don't believe it then someone else is going to react negatively to that um this is really important because if you don't do that you're going to close yourself off to a lot of experiences um the best possible way to improve your life is to or improve your life quickly is to ignore what other people have to say about you when you start working towards not caring what other people think it just makes your life so much better because you can just do whatever you want basically this really 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 helped me i used to be so self-conscious i couldn't even imagine myself making videos like this and putting myself up for judgment and i it's just really improves your quality of life by a lot okay so basically i feel like the key to success is just being able to experience failures and not letting those failures fizzle out your enthusiasm for reaching your goals so just keep going <laughs>
Finally, I think I covered this in another point, but it's just so important. Don't do the things that you don't want to do. Basically, just don't do it. Because if you do that, you're compromising your happiness for someone else or for something else. And it just doesn't make sense. And if you want to be happy, you really have to put effort into making sure you know what you want and know what you don't want. Just learn about yourself and do it. I hope you found it helpful and if you want me to make a video on any one of these points and like elaborate on them I totally can and I in those videos I can also share my own life experiences with you if you're interested. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Goodbye